Pastor Diane, how are you? Pretty good. I mean, it's it's December. It's kind of chilly. Um, but yeah, I'm good. It's been a long time since we've done a long lockdown show. It has. And do you remember we said when we when we finalized just before before VBS? We mm -hmm. said, hey, maybe we'll be back and do like Tasty Tuesday or something. Yes. Why haven't we? Has, has, has something happened in our lives that maybe caused us? Yeah. Just what, a what, little what thing. What little thing, Pastor Peggy? Uh, it's called 7,000 kilometers. 7,000 kilometers. So like 4,500 miles. Yes. For, for our American friends. Yeah. Um, I've, ha I've had a change of location. It looks different there. It, it, it is different here. I, I miss the fire in the background. I know. I was in my bedroom. Now I'm in my living room. I've upgraded. Wow. But I, I've also um, moved from northern Alberta, Canada to almost the middle of the Atlantic Ocean in Newfoundland, wow. Canada. I know. You're on the coast area, bye. Uh, I'm I'm down, 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 down. Well, actually, I'm not. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's, it's very, very strange. I am in Newfoundland, and you have to erase everything that you think of Newfoundland, the boats, the, the jelly bean houses, the the salt water, the fish, and all of that. Wipe that out of your mind. I am on the edge of nowhere, and uh, you could could arrive here and just keep on going. I'm in a little place called Buckins, Newfoundland. It is way in the center of Newfoundland. The nearest water to me is probably about a two and a half hour drive for salt water. Uh, we have a lake just out right here, probably about five minutes away. Beautiful uh, Red Indian Lake. It's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, but we're way in the interior of Newfoundland um, in a small, used to be a mining town and now it's not a mining town anymore. But this is where my, this is where I grew up. This is my hometown. And my father is here. And because of COVID, uh, my, my dad just turned 92 in September, uh, because of COVID and uh, everything that was going on, uh, lockdowns and, and all that kind of stuff, uh, my daughter and I decided that it might be a wise move to, to come and to be with him um, for, for the time being, so that we're close just in case something were to happen. And uh, so we packed up and with uh, two cars, a trailer, three cats and two people. And a fly. <laughs> That's, and a fly, yes. And a fly, if you've, tra if you've followed me, there was a fly that entered my car and it stayed with me until I got home. <laughs> and um, <laughs> we traveled across the country. We had a couple of breakdowns along the way, a couple of blowouts in tires and things like that but we made it safe and sound to Newfoundland, went into a 14 day quarantine. And so towards the middle of September, we came out, we've just been unpacking and trying to, to get our bearings and, and having some fun with my dad as he, as he, uh, as we all now get ready for Christmas. So, yeah. So it's, it's a lot of fun to be back with lockdown lunacy, yeah. uh, because we're entering into what they call a second wave. Um, don't know if we got through the first wave or not yet, but anyway, we're here we are. And we thought that we would reach out and connect with you and uh, bring you some cheers and some giggles and some laughs through our 12 days of Christmas. 
12 days of craftiness. <laughs> 12 days of Christmas craftiness. How's that? So, lockdown lunacy, the Christmas edition. 12 oh, days of craftiness. <laughs> <laughs> because, because, I mean, the most annoying song in history has to be on the 12 days of Christmas. On the first well, day. It's a song that never ends, but we're not going there. <laughs> That's on another day for another time. Oh, okay. <laughs> Didn't get that memo. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Oh, I don't get a lot of memos. The 12 days of Christmas. <sighs> <laughs> but you know what? It, it, it's really interesting, and we can post it in our in our links down here. Uh, someone has taken the 12 days of Christmas and sort of Christianized it so that everything in the song means something um, that is biblical. Now, I don't think that was the original intent of the, the 12 days of Christmas song, but it's nice to look at it from that perspective. So I'm really excited on, we had a tadpole Thursday, and this is geared more toward your favorite day. What? <laughs> um, we we really we sort of really wanted to it to be family oriented this this time, but it's not just for kids because we're having a lot of fun just zooming together and making these crafts together. So you can do that with a friend, like gather up things from around your home, and uh, come on, watch us, watch for our details. <laughs> of what you need each day, make it with us, or grab a friend and say, hey, you want to Zoom with me for 12 days? We can follow along and do these crafts together with us or with each other at the end. So it's kind of cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, going back to the 12 days of Christmas song, you had mentioned the um, the link for the, the Christian um, meaning behind it. My favorite um, story about the 12 days of Christmas is Emily who wrote a letter to Dear John. And every, every day she wrote a letter, Dear John, thank you for the partridge. And that pear tree is just so gorgeous. And it goes on and on. And um, I will find it and post a link. In the, uh, oh my gosh, I I was like, Emily, who's that? But now that you said it, I'm like, absolutely. That is a funny story. And and then there's always the, um, I forget who does it, but they they calculate the, the going rate for the 12, the presents for the 12 days of Christmas every year. They figure out how much would 12 gold rings cost? How much would a partridge in a pear tree? All that stuff. And, and do the person at the end say, just give me the money. Show me the money. <laughs> Show me the money. <laughs> oh my goodness, we've gotten off track. Have you missed us? <laughs> That's okay. That's us. And we, we want you to, to join in with us. We want you to laugh with us. We want you to make mistakes with us because some of these crafts we haven't done before. Um, so... <laughs> Yeah, you never know what's going to happen and it's going to be fun. You never know. Never, never and, know. and the great thing about the crafts that we've chosen is we can all make them our own. We can all do our own little personality in them. So, you know, if you don't have what we're saying you need to have, maybe you don't need to have. So tune in and find out. You never know. You might and not have that and sometimes we have different supplies, so yep. that's what it is. Yep. It's just to have fun. Well, what, so, uh, wh when are we starting? What are we doing? What time? So that's what I was going to ask you. Great moments uh, think alike. I know, or I'm not going to say the other part. <laughs> we'll seldom differ. Yeah. <laughs> it is what it is. It is. <laughs> um, <ooh. laughs> anyway. <laughs> When are we going to start this? The 12, when, well, the 12 days of Christmas starts on when? Christmas Day? Yeah. You know what? Everybody's going to be too busy Christmas yes. Day. Playing with their presents or getting mm -hmm. the Christmas dinner ready or whatever. 
people are doing. So I don't, I don't think we should start on Christmas Day. Mm -mm. Nope. I don't think we should. Nope. Nope. Well, Boxing Day. Boxing Day. Now, in in Canada, we have Boxing Day. In Europe, they have Boxing Day. Does the America celebrate Boxing Day? And if so, what is it? Um, no. <laughs> However, enough people that live handy to me are familiar with Canadian things. So they they know about Boxing Day. It's just not celebrated here. Right. Well, we celebrate it here. And then we have a big blowout sale on the 27th called the Boxing Day Sale. So, yay. I love Boxing Day sales. <laughs> me too. <laughs> It's when you gather up all your money that you got for Christmas and you go shopping. Yeah. And you put it in boxes, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. So do you know the history of Boxing Day, though? Uh, the history of Boxing Day is that was the day when the Lord of the Manor would pass out boxes of the Christmas presents, Christmas, Christmas bonus, let's say to the servants who they had to work on Christmas Day because oh my goodness do you expect me to cook my own meals no way <laughs> so that's when the servants in the manor houses would get their Christmas yeah celebration and so most of them had the day off yeah. uh, it was a holiday for them and they they did get their gifts on that day so it's kind of cool kind of cool yeah, yeah. Um, so the biggest question now is, okay, so we're going to start on Boxing Day, which is December 26th. The other big question is, if we started halfway between Alberta time and um, New York time, which was 1230 Central time. Now, because I'm in Newfoundland and in a completely different time zone, the Atlantic time zone, Newfoundland time zone, because we've got a time zone of our own over here. That's how special they are. That's the how special we are. Time zone. We have our own, a half an hour later. Half an hour later, God created Newfoundland. Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so halfway between would be, let me see, um, 1230 Central, 130 Eastern, 2.30 Atlantic, 3 o'clock Newfoundland. So what's halfway between 3 o'clock and, and 1.30? That's confusing. Let's just go with 12.30 Central Time because of Mark 12.20. Or 12.30, sorry. <laughs> what is Mark 12.30? I don't know. You're the one that says it all the time. <laughs> well, Jesus was uh, doing his ministry and the uh, Pharisees wanted to trip him up and they asked him, what's the greatest commandment? And in Mark 12, verse, um, verse 30, he said, love God and love others. And when we started this uh, lockdown lunacy, uh, the world was in chaos, and we just really wanted to remind people that we need to keep God first, and uh, we need to keep God central. So that's why we picked Central Time, 12:30. Just happened to be uh, really cool that we were both on one side, each side of, of that time zone. So we're going to still stick with that. That'll be or, sorry, 11:30 in in Alberta. If you're still watching. 12.30 Central, 1.30 Eastern. Do we and have people three in the day? 3 o'clock in Newfoundland. 3, 3 p.m. Yes. 3 p.m. Yeah. So, looking forward to that. Me too. See you on December 26th at 12.30 Central Time. And be ready to craft. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we will post links every day, the day before, we will post a, a little post saying what you need in the next day's crafts. And actually, at the end of this video, there will be a video that has, I'm going to say all the stuff that you need, but there might be a few things missing, but, but nothing major, okay? 
way. So, yeah, we'll, we'll put that out there today. So <laughs> if you want to go shopping now, because if you're in Canada, you're out of luck. You can't go shopping until the 27th after That's Christmas. That's right. Mm hmm Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I am looking forward to this. Yay! 12 Days of Craftiness for Christmas edition. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. This will be so much fun. And I am so glad that we're still we're still doing this together and still being able to reach out and uh, connect with you, our fans. Yay! I didn't realize we had fans. But I we didn't did. realize that too. <laughs> People said they missed us. They have. So we will see you in a few days' time. Till then, I'm Pastor Diane. And I'm Pastor Peggy. Be safe. Be healthy. And, and be, be the church. The church. <laughs> Bye.